We had a slow start, um, trying to get clicking, trying to figure it out. Uh, you know how it is with certain games, you know, can't attribute it to anything other than execution. I'm standing in the office side of the ball. Uh, yeah, pretty much execution. Steph, Josh used the terms, uh, it's all good. Uh, tempo and urgency early yeah. in the game. Didn't really have a sense of it or whatever. I, I'm not putting those words in your mind. No, okay. did, did, you, did you feel that way? A hundred percent. Like, I felt like on the sideline, I kind of felt it a little bit, and I went on the, I went on the, uh, I went on the field, and I was just, you know, echoing sense of urgency, get out of the huddle, let's, let's, let's have that mindset. You know, we have it in practice, and we try to build off of it in the game. You know what I'm saying it's supposed to be easier. You know what I'm saying you work hard in practice, and you, it's the carryover. It's supposed to be, all right, you go have fun now. So I felt like, you know, we did have a little, I'm not gonna say uh, lackadaisical, but we were kind of like just not as, you know, let's go get it, let's get after it. You know what I'm saying we were kind of trying to figure it out. Um, but that lack of sense of urgency, you know, it showed. You know what I'm saying? And then when we get in that mode of uh, not necessarily rushing, but more so like, okay, we got to score. You saw that. So, you know, uh, definitely something to learn from and a lot of things to learn from from this. Is there anything that stands out to you about why that was? Like, why that lack of urgency wasn't there really? Nah, like, I can't really, you know, I can't put words in anybody's mouth or anything. But, uh, you know, just as a unit, you know, we echo it. You know, that's the standard. We didn't, we didn't play up to the standard. But I will say uh, it's a lot of things we can learn from from this and go grow from it. Steph, one follow of that is just that you know, a lot of people would have a question about the travel you guys got in here on yeah. Friday or whatever. And Sean said they're going to evaluate everything moving forward if and when you come back over here again. Did, did that have any impact, in your opinion? I don't oh, know. Like, uh, it's it's easy to say that after the game, like if we won, I would have, what you would have, what we would have said, like, yeah, we were tired, or yeah, we were this, or yeah, we were that. But you know, it's easy to use an excuse. I'm not a big excuse guy, so I won't say it. But you know, you're gonna have to ask the other guys, like, tired or not, or whatever. You're gonna get up to play a football game. You know what I'm saying you get up to do the things that you love and play this game. You know, because it's a blessing. You know, uh, also prayers for the guys that we got hurt. But I, I won't never use an excuse. Uh, you can obviously look at the data or whatever, but. Man, I ain't, I ain't really trying to hear that shit. I just, you know, I feel like we could play better. We, we will be better, and we must. So you mentioned the injuries. I know they were mostly on the defensive side. Yeah. But what was it like you guys for a team just seeing so many guys go down? Nah, it's, it's I mean, you know, team-wise, we don't think about it, offense or defense or special teams. You know, we all still one unit, so it's tough to see guys get hurt. Um, but flip side, I try to, you know, think about it. We do have depth. We do have a lot of guys that can play f football at a very high level. So when you... Go into that deep, you know, the depth that we have, the deep bench that we do have. Uh, guys need to play well. Guys need to step up, and it's still a standard. So, like did you choose? Sorry. You got it. Got it. Oh, thank you. Uh, this morning, North London was a wash with blue jerseys ever. How amazing was the Bills, Matthews, and Trump in Van Stadium? One more time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. This morning, North, North London was full of blue jerseys of the Bills Mafia, and how amazing were they in the stadium today? Because for someone who's been to Quinton London games a long time, that atmosphere was probably one of the most electric I've ever been a part of. I got you that time. <laughs> uh, Bills Mafia travels really well. You know saying? We're trying to expand this thing and get some fans over here. Uh, they, they really travel well, and everybody that showed it, they made a lot of noise. It felt like it was still you know, kind of a home game. It's not like home home, but it's, it's the second home. So uh, today, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, was definitely, it was definitely still fun, still a good atmosphere. Um, I look forward to coming over here again, and hopefully we have a different result. You mentioned talking to you guys about a sense of urgency. There was also a moment between the third and fourth quarter when you went out to talk to the defense. What were you talking to them about? Nothing. I don't, I don't play defense. I just be on some positive energy. Let's go, like, you know, trying to be there for my guys just because, you know, offense, you kind of get lost. You kind of lose it a little bit, lose sight of everything that's going on in defense. You might watch them on the board a little bit, but you're not that attentive. So for me, I try to be there for my guys, give them some positive energy, a boost. You never know, a couple of extra claps, a couple of yells, you know, anything can happen. Steph, Josh went to you deep twice. You got one, and then they got the other one. What did you see on those two plays? What was your um, my quarterback just gave me a chance, especially, I, you know, I try not to talk about the positive. The second one, uh, he made a good play. You know what I'm saying? Like, I try not to, you know, say anything other than he made a good play, give him his respect, a uh, hell of a play. Uh, we're going to keep building off of it. You know, we hit one, we didn't mean we missed one, but more so on me. You know, I look at 50-50 balls like they're miles or nobody, so i uh, put the more, more on, this, on my shoulders than anything. Uh, keep betting on Josh. Josh going to give me a chance, and we keep building off of it. You know, we've had some success uh, throughout the season. We keep trying to grow from it, so kind of look at it as a positive. I'm not asking from a win or loss standpoint mm -hmm. or excuse or anything like yeah. that, but from a league-wide standpoint and yeah. player preference, the turf out there today, what'd you think? Oh, shit. Uh, sorry. Um, 
It was all right. That's all I'm going to say. They also have a grass field. Would you have preferred that? Uh, you know, I, I live in a space of preference. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? So whatever they give us to play on, I'm going to play on it. You know what I'm saying? So, so trying not to speak too much about uh, inevitables, I guess. You alluded, alluded to the uh, atmosphere earlier. Is there a message you've got for the British fans that came out to see today? Keep coming out. Buy more red, white, and blue. <laughs> Saw a little bit of scattered at other jerseys. So, you know, but I appreciate y'all coming. A lot of support. Football is fun. You know Get into it a little bit. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, y'all.